Welcome to Suleika Astro. Now we are going to see about the solar eclipse which is going to happen on 25th October 2022 by 2.28 pm till 6.32 pm. Here the two auspicious tithis which is coming is one is Amavasya no moon day and it is the start of the first Sukla Paksha Pratamati. The three important planets. Mainly we are going to talk about the two important planets. One is Saturn, Karmakaraka. Second, Jupiter, Dhanakaraka or Putrakaraka. And third thing is the Mercury. These three planets are in the karmic star. Mercury in the Chitra nakshatra and Saturn in the Dhanishta nakshatra and also Jupiter in the Uttrapadpatra nakshatra. This is happening in the Kala Chakras first and seventh house. Who is the first house? First house is the a person of the life of the person. Second, in the seventh house, it is our partner, soul partner. In this seventh house, the sun who is going to get debilitated and also Venus who is the seventh house lord is placed in the seventh house when this particular solar eclipse is going to happen. So importantly, the thing is, when the eclipse is going to start in the Swadhi Nakshatra, the persons, those who are in the Swadhi Nakshatra and Arudra Nakshatra, Sadabhishaha Nakshatra and also Chitra Nakshatra people, Vishaka Nakshatra people. Because the seventh house, it is very important house also for everyone. So when we are taking about the Kala Chakra, the Kala Purusha is the important thing in the astrology. Then this solar eclipse is a partial solar eclipse. So it will affect some part of the universe. The uh, Western countries, Europe and also the Indian, the Asia, some of the part of the Asian countries are going to get affected by this solar eclipse. What is going to change? Everyone aware on 2019 December one solar eclipse happened. It is the full solar eclipse where we have lot of challenges for the two years financially and career wise, business wise and also by the education everywhere there are lot of disturbances till now the world is facing the lot of crisis now again a solar eclipse which has happened in now in the seventh house but the three planets which is placed differently one the saturn placed in the 10th house and in the 12th house the jupiter is placed in the karmic nakshatra and also Mercury for the intelligent and also the Mercury who denotes the nerves, skin related problems. So we have to be very careful. Everyone, each and everyone have to be very careful on diseases like skin, skin allergies, nervous system problems, nerves problem. Career related things, importantly, everyone must know about their career, changing of the career, shifting of career and overall world is facing the career crisis problem in this time. So be calm while you are taking the dish. Okay, what we have to do on this solar eclipse, how to overcome, see everything related to the mood of the person. Moon is a mood. 
So everything when it is related to mood of the person, how we can enhance to overcome the stress, mental stress, which is going to happen on this solar eclipse. Everyone, after, I mean the post lunch, you have to take, you have to consume your lunch before at least 1 p.m. Before 1 p.m. on Indian Standard Time. Please convert that into your time band wherever you are living. Second important thing, after consumption of food, don't consume anything in between 2.28 pm to the sunset. Because till the sunset, the eclipse power will be there. So the vibration which may be become very worse and second important thing those who had born on Swadhi nakshatra, Arudra nakshatra, Satapishaha nakshatra, Visaha nakshatra and Chitra nakshatra please go and perform Shanti Puja either by after 6.30 I mean 6.32 after taking the bath to the nearest temple or next day you can go to the temple and ask the priest to perform the Shanti Puja for you. Number two, on the time, on that particular solar eclipse time, please take a bath, sit in a calm room, little lamp, meditate to Lord Shiva or any God, any Jabas, whatever the Jabas you are doing in this time, if you are doing one time, it is equal to thousand times. So if you know Gayatri Jaba, if you know Gayatri Mantra, whatever the mantras, even if you are in a different religion also, you can chant or you can meditate your Lord in this particular time, which is more effect for your mind and mood. Number two. Number three. Pregnant ladies, don't come out on in this particular time. Even though the science, technology has been improved, these are the wise words from our grandfathers, great-grandfathers who had showed some way for us, the, this is a way of living. Third important thing, after the solar eclipse got over, take a bath and pray to your Lord and at least you can avoid the food on whole day. If else also, after solar eclipse, take a bath, worship whatever the Lord you are worshipping. After 8 p.m. on IST, if required, you can consume food or the dinner on that time. And be calm. And for the Libra persons, the thing is which is going to happen on the Libra moon sign. So Libra moon sign people, for the next few days, the effects will be there. So don't take immediate. Uh, so the Libra persons, the effects will be there for the couple of months. While you are taking the important decisions on business oriented or on your career oriented and also for your maternal uncle and your intelligence test, these areas may get affected. See, this is a general prediction 
and how we must be there in the solar eclipse time. This is not a full prediction for each and everyone. If you need your personalized prediction against the solar eclipse, you can call us and also you can have a video conferencing with our expert astrologers in astrosuleka.com. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe the channel and also click the bell icon to get all the notification of our videos.